Hello, hello, namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here today. We are going to get started for it is seven o'clock on the dot. And I ask that we use this time to gather any supplies we feel we may need for our session here today. As we find our bodies in our comfortable seated pose, I am sitting in a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we are using our easy seat to help relax, ground, soothe, and center our mind and bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight at our navel. Our spinal cords are elongated, meaning we are not sunken down. Having control of the body with the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. A lot of times we sit with our shoulders in tension, with our shoulders up, just reminding ourselves to relax those shoulders down may help relieve shoulder stress and neck pain. Gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes, if that feels good for us. As we take a nice deep intentional breath in, exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center coming into a seated prayer. And may we relax in silent meditation for natural breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, palms are together, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up, allowing our arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room, feeling this slight back bend here. May we hold this pose, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, separating those palms, coming into that seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. And our seated salute, our palms are together. Extended mountain, our palms are separated. Shoulders flows up towards those ears, allowing that spinal cord to feel nice and elongated here. As we twist our bodies towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our right shoulder. Building this spinal twist here, allowing this twist to relax and soothe our spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. Our palms are out towards the side. In our seated extended mountain, our palms were above our head and separated. In our seated star, our palms are outward towards the side. Feeling that stretch as we twist our bodies towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our left shoulder. Feeling this seated twist opposite side. Allowing this twist to soothe and relax the spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing into that star. Coming into that seated extended mountain. Flowing into that salute, palms together. Relaxing our palms down with that heart center, coming into that seated prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Taking this time to go inward. Focusing on how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment. Two breaths. As we flow our palms downward towards our bodies, our palms are connected to the earth as we are tapping in with our environment. 
taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into that salute, chin is up, heart chakras open, still in that stretch. Breathing our palms to the sides of our bodies here. Our palms can be facing down, our palms can be facing up. Whatever feels good for you. As we rotate our arms forward, we are working on our shoulder rolls here. We are working the upper parts of our bodies, our shoulders, our back legs, our arms. We're gonna hang out here and rotate forward for four more breaths. Go as fast or as slow as you choose. Two more breaths. You may be feeling that burn. As we find our pause, and we're going to rotate our arms in the opposite direction. Ensuring our tummies are tight, spinal cords are nice and long. Four breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause, breathing our palms to our salute, palms above the head, interlacing the fingers, pointing the finger points up towards the heavens. Chin is up, arms flows towards the back. This is a slight back bend. This also relaxes and soothes the upper parts of our bodies. We're gonna hold this three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms as our bodies lean towards the right. We are in our seated side bend. Noticing how this feels here in our side body. We can gaze up at the heavens if that feels good for us. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center. Side bend, opposite side. Feeling that side bend. Gazing up at the heavens if you choose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing our palms together. Exhaling down to prayer. Relaxing our palms at heart center. Maybe pulling our thumbs inward towards our sternum, which is the center of our chest. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from our ears. As we breathe in deeply. Exhale through the mouth. Noticing what that breath does to the body as we find harmony within, as we find peace within. Two breaths. As we breathe our legs straight out in front of us, coming into a staff pose, extending those legs straight in front of us, feeling that nice long body here. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens, Backs are nice and straight. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We are in our staff pose. Noticing how the staff feels within the body. We're gonna hold this for two more breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads in that salute. Exhale to prayer. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that seated, half forward fold. And when we hinge at the hips, you may feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings. We're gonna hold this for two more breaths. If all feels well, we can come into a complete forward fold, allowing our torso to relax forward, connecting our hands to our ankles or the hands to our bottoms of our feet. As our shoulder blades melt downward towards our legs, head, Melts downward towards our knees. 
This here is a full body stretch as we relax and soothe here for four breaths. Three breaths. Exhaling up to our half forward fold as we come up to our staff pose. Bodies are nice and long. Lowering our hands back up to our salute, palms above the head. Exhale to prayer. As we bring our legs in, we're coming into a bound position, either a diamond or a butterfly. Our legs are, our feet are together. My apologies, our feet are together. This is a hip opener. We can be in our diamond or we can be in our butterfly. So in our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. And our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. And we are using this pose to go inward and open up those hip flexors here. Listening to your body and allowing your body to flow and move to what's comfortable for itself. So once again, the diamond is further away. Butterfly is closer. We're going to hang out here, connecting our hands to our feet with our heart chakra open, our chin up, as we allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades. Coming into that down cow pose. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. Two breaths. Low them to our cat, chin comes to the clavicle, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Coming to our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly as we slightly hinge at the hips. When we hinge at the hips, we are coming deeper into that hip flexor here. Now the torso to come downward towards the feet. Head relaxes downward towards the feet as well. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Four breaths. Three breaths. Exhaling back up to our diamond or our butterfly, using our hands to bring our legs inward, crossing our feet at our ankles. As we flow into our boat pose, lifting our legs up, hands are parallel next to our legs. We can uncross our ankles if we choose. We can also extend our legs up in the air. So whatever feels best for you here in our boat pose. This boat pose works the core muscles, the abdominals, the obliques, Keeping our backs nice and long, it also works the legs as well. Six breaths. Gazing forward with the chin up. Four more breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Hanging out in this pose, bringing our hands inward, as we pound our hands from side to side, we are working our obliques a little deeper here. We're also working our core. Six breaths. Four breaths. Crossing your feet at your ankles if that feels good. Three breaths. Two. Finding pause at center. Keeping our legs up, connecting our hands to our feet. Backs are nice and elongated here. <sighs> We're gonna hang out here just for a couple moments to catch our breath and relax our mind and our bodies. Ensuring that that spine is elongated, tummies are tight and tough at our navel. Hands are in our feet as we lift our feet up and down. Just having some fun playing with our feet here. And you know what? It's 97 degrees here in PA, August 4th, 2022. And I'm hot and I apologize for my short shorts, but pants 
yoga pants sticks to my body right about now. So I am feeling relaxed and soothed here. And that's what yoga is all about. It's about putting on your comfortable clothes and doing you. And that's what I'm doing here today. And I hope you are doing the same as we are relaxing and going inward. As we extend our left leg out to the sides, feeling that stretch here. And you may feel it behind your legs and your hamstring. With our chin up and our heart chakra open as we are gazed forward, four breaths. Three breaths. Mm. Exhaling that leg back in as we straighten out that opposite leg. Right leg comes out to the sides, feeling that stretch. You'll feel this behind your leg here in that hamstring. <sighs> Allowing the body to relax and soothe with our chin up, four breaths. Three breaths. Two. Exhaling that leg back in, backs are straight, tummies are tight. Extending that left leg out one more time, feeling that stretch. If all feels well, extending that right leg out. Now we are in that V pose, that full boat pose variation. Maybe allowing our legs to flow out towards the side, creating that nice wide V. Or we can bring our legs inward, closing off that V. Noticing that when we bring our legs inward, we're working different parts of our abdominal muscles here. We can do both, either or. Whatever you choose, six breaths. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Breathing those legs back in, coming to that diamond or that butterfly. Backs are nice and elongated. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. As we flow our heads between our shoulder blades, coming into that cow pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat. Chin comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Exhale back to our cow. Come into our diamond or our butterfly. As we hinge at the hips. <clears throat> opening up those hip flexors here. Head comes downward towards the feet. Shoulder blades melt forward. Three breaths. Exhaling the body back up. Using our hands to bring our legs and we're crossing our feet at our ankles as we flow into a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on our earth. As we drop down to our cow, you'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Our tummies are closer towards the earth, feeling that curvature in our spine. Our backs are sunken like a cow. Our chin is up. This cow pose is great for low back pain. Four breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, chin comes to the clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our legs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our pause, we're going to breathe our right foot towards our right hand, coming into that runner's lunge. 
dropping our left knee down towards the earth. We are now in that low lunge. Pushing our torso away from our thigh. We're going to come into that crescent lunge, extending our arms over our heads, feeling that stretch. Heart chakras open, chin is up, four reps. Two more breaths. Exhaling forward, framing that front foot, taking that left knee off the earth, coming back to that runner's lunge, straightening out that front leg, flowing into a pyramid as our torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down towards that knee. Feeling that nice deep stretch, four breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Bending that knee, coming back to that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. Gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog. Finding calls, we're gonna breathe that left foot to that left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. Dropping that right leg downward towards the earth. We are nailing that low lunge. Pushing our torso away from our thigh. Arms above our head. Crescent lunge. <sighs> Feeling the arms rise above the head. Chin is up. Heart chakra is open. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, framing that front foot. Taking that right knee off the earth, back in that runner's lunge. Straightening up that front leg, coming into that pyramid pose. Head relaxes downward, torso flows over that thigh. Feeling that full body stretch, four breaths. Two more breaths. Bending that front knee, coming back to that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. <sighs> As we walk our dog, by pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding our paws, dropping down to our dolphin pose, coming onto our forearms. Buttocks is high in the air as we are gazed back at our feet. This dolphin pose prepares the body for headstand. We can pulse up and down on our tippy toes if that feels good for us. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, we're gonna come into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Dropping down to the knees, creating that stance as the torso relaxes between the thighs. Maybe our buttocks is towards our feet. We are in that child's pose. Maybe our legs are together, buttocks is high in the air. We are in that puppy pose. With our arms extended in front of us, it is called an extended child's pose, puppy pose. With that forehead, third eye chakra connected to the earth. May we relax and soothe here. Six, let's make it seven natural breaths. Three more breaths. Four 
With our arms extended in front of us, our palms are flat on the earth. We're going to spine away our bodies out of this pose. Using our hands to push our torso and buttocks forward and using our hands to push our buttocks towards our feet. And feeling that wave here in your spinal cord. Just feeling that body wave. Let's try it from another viewpoint. So feeling that spinal wave here. Gazing forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our paws coming back to that table. Dropping to cow. Exhale to cat. Low into our table as we extend our right leg out towards the back, coming into that sunbird here. Extending that left arm forward, we are now in that full sunbird. As we are gazed forward, tummy sit tight, four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Two breaths. Flowing back to table. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table as we extend that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Right arm comes forward. We are in that full sunburn. Gazing forward, tummies are tight. Four breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Two breaths. Flow into our table. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back to our table. Pushing our bodies up to our down dog. Gazing at our feet. As we walk our feet towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold, allowing that torso to relax over that thigh. Head melts downward towards the knees. We are gazed at the back of the room. This is a full body stretch. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to a half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Backs are straight. Two more breaths. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. We're gonna come back down to that complete forward fold, flowing into a rag dial. Connecting our hands to our elbows. Head relaxes down. We also can sway, rocking our bodies from side to side. If that feels good, you'll feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings. Five breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pose at center, coming into a half forward fold. Coming up to our goddess stance, we're gonna bend our knees, coming into a cactus hand. So goddess stance, working the lower parts of our bodies. You're building strength at the quads, the front of the legs, basically the back of the legs. 
the calves, the arms are up, tummies are tight as we pulse the body up and down. Now, pulsing is just an option. We also can rock the body from side to side. Or we can simply stay still. Whatever you choose, five breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. If we're rocking or pulsing, we're gonna find our pause at center. Two more breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold. We are wide-legged, connecting our right and left hand to our ankles. Head melts down. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to a half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Two breaths. Breathing back up to our guided stance, bending our knees, coming into the cactus hands. As we flow out once above our heads, coming into that salute. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Exhaling down the prayer, palms are at heart center. Flowing back to our cactus hands. Pulsing the body up and down, three breaths, two breaths. Finding pause. Exhale, complete forward fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down, four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. As we walk our hands forward, we're bringing our feet back together, down dog, gazing at our feet. Pedaling our feet by walking our dog left and right. Finding our pause, breathing our right foot to our right hand, runner's lunge, flowing up to that warrior two, hands to the front, hands to the back, Bend the neck knee. Exhale, reverse warrior. Breathing to side angle or extended side angle, meaning arms above the head. Going back to warrior two. Exhale, warrior one. Both hands above the head. Exhale back, warrior two. Straightening out that front leg. Exhale down to triangle, hand to ankle, left arms up in the air. We can use a yoga block if that feels good for you and your triangle. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, coming into that pyramid. Straightening that body. Oh, feeling that stretch. Bending that knee, coming into that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. Gazing at your feet. Walking our dog by the on our feet, left and right. Finding that pause as we breathe our left foot to our left hand, runners lunge, opposite side. <sighs> Exhaling up to warrior two, hands to the front, hands to the back, bend the neck knee. <sighs> Exhale, reverse warrior. As we breathe to side angle or extended side angle, right arms above the head. Going back to warrior two. Exhale, warrior one. Palms above the head. Body's twisted forward, chin is up. 
straightening out their front leg, coming down to pyramid, left hand, left ankle, right arms up in the air, triangle. Taking an option to use that yoga block that feels good for you. Three more breaths. Exhale forward, coming into that pyramid, twisting that body over that front thigh. Head relaxes down. Slow into runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our feet forward, complete forward fold. Three breaths. Exhale, half forward fold, backs are straight, slightly gazing forward. <sighs> Breathing to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, standing tall, palms at our side. Head on our feet left and right. Finding that pause here in our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Spinal cords are nice and long ages here. Three breaths. Breathing our palms above our heads and our salute. Chin is up. Exhale to prayer. Relaxing the palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders down away from our ears. As we take this time to go inward, Focusing on how we feel right here, right now, in this present moment. Being mindful of the thoughts and the feelings that are within, without judgment. Simply being aware, simply taking notice. Always being kind and loving to oneself. With our feet planted to the earth, we are grounded, we are rooted. As we hang out here in silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. Slightly hinging at the hips, that half forward fold. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. Backs are straight, gazing forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Bending the knees, coming into that chair pose. We can be in our prayer hands. Or we can extend our arms in front of us in that extended chair. Four breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms inward, coming into that prayer. As we twist our body towards the right chair pose, twist. Three breaths. Exhale back to center. Chair pose, twist opposite side. Exhale back to center, two more breaths. Breathe, complete forward fold, head comes down. Two more breaths. Walking down with hands forward, seat is towards the back, down dog. Exhaling down to dolphin, coming onto our forearms. Blood axis in the air, gaze into the back of the room. Relax the net, neck. Walking the feet closer towards the body, feeling that nice elongated spine, blood axis nice and high. Four breaths. Crossing up and down on the tippy toes if that feels good. Two more breaths.
dropping down to the knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever feels best for you and your body right here, right now in this present moment. Child's pose or puppy pose. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Our third eye chakra, our forehead is connected to the earth with our arms extended in front of us. Extended child's pose, puppy pose. Seven breaths. Maybe breathing our palms together above our heads, coming into a prayer hand. Child's pose, puppy pose. Four more breaths. Extending our arms back in front of us, palms are on the earth. As we spine away our bodies out of our child's pose, puppy pose, using our hands to bring our torso forward, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our feet. Waving that spine here. Three more breaths. Hmm. Two breaths. Mm -hmm. Finding our pause at center, we're going to come into a tabletop. Knees are hip distance apart. Both of our palms are flat on the earth. Dropping down to cow. Chin is up. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table, crossing our feet at our ankles as we come into a seated pose just for a second. Coming onto our backs, coming into a reclined position. Knees to chest, hugging the knees into the chest. <sighs> Using this time to go inward, showing themselves a little self-love and appreciation, a little gratitude here. Three breaths. Extending those legs straight up in the air. Legs on the wall poles. As we point our toes upwards towards the heaven, plantar flex, AKA ballerina feet. Pointing those toes, feeling that arch in the feet. Reaching down to the lower parts of our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. This is a full body stretch. Three breaths. Exhale, legs back up on the wall. Breathing our knees back into our chest. Allowing our shoulder blades to flow back to the yoga mat. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As our knees flow towards the left, coming into a decline spinal twist. Feeling that spine nicely twist here. Right arm comes out to the side. We can gaze over that right arm, or we can gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels good for you. Take a nice, subtle breaths here. Shoulder blades melts back into the yoga mat. As we relax and soothe, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, knees to chest, hugging the knees into the chest. Two breaths. 
As we breathe our knees towards the right, recline spinal twist opposite side, feel the neck twist in the spine. Left arm flows out to the side, gazing over that left arm or gazing up at the heavens, whatever feels best for you. Shoulder blades melts back into the earth, allowing our bodies to relax and soothe here. Gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes if that feels good. As we relax in silent meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, bringing the knees into the chest, hugging the knees into the chest. Two breaths. Blowing our feet up in the air, coming into a happy baby. Connecting the hands to the feet. As we rock our body from side to side, if that feels good, allowing the earth to relax and soothe your spine. We can breathe our legs over our shoulder, coming into a shoulder press, or we can flow into a pretzel pose. Whatever you choose, we're gonna freestyle in our happy baby for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Extending our legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Reaching down, connecting our hands to our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest as we flow our legs side by side in our Shavasana, our rest pose. Legs are parallel side by side, allowing the sides of our feet to touch as our feet fall to the side like a V, completely relaxing our knee. Shoulder blades flows back into the yoga mat. Eyes are closed or gaze down. As we are using this time to go inward, winding down our mind and our body as we are finding harmony within ourselves. May we relax here in silent meditation, seven natural breaths. Mm. As we roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose, keeping our eyes closed to gaze down if that feels good. Four breaths. Slowly wiggling our toes, rotating our feet and our ankles, 
as we move our buttocks at our hips. Feeling that body awakening. Using our top hand to push our bodies up into a seated pose. I'm going to come into a cow face. May you find any seat that feels good for you. Tummies are tight at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. Shoulders relaxed down the way from the ears. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Eyes are gazed down or closed. Ensuring that our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice deep intentional breath in, hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today on this Thursday, hot and humid day, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.